with the Air Force Falcons, Troy Calhoun's bunch. They uh they had some issues last year. Now they ended up three and three, which is pretty good considering they had a ton of turnbacks. You remember those? We we tried to sure. figure that out last year. The turnbacks were the military opt outs. Now they got several of them back this year, uh, but they are going to be much more experienced than they were. Now, their returning production, still not great. Still, whatever, about 110, but they are used to that with military academies. I would say like It normal. just always happens. Win total sits at 6.5. To go over is minus 125. To go under is minus 105. Uh, the projected record from SP Plus and FPI sits at 7-5 and five for both. Um, looking at the schedule, I mean, it's... You know, it's it's rough, but they have got a bunch of wins on here that I think that they're going to be able to get. Defense only returns five starters. They got four turnback players from 2019, uh, including star defensive linebacker DeMonte Meeks. Um, and the key is going to be offensive line. Like, it, they, they lost six dudes, several of which were uh, all-conference players. Yeah, I was about to say, they weren't just regular guys. They, they're, they're really good. Yes, they were fantastic. Uh, but Troy Calhoun, even with all of the... Turnover and whatnot, I mean, they lost quarterback, running back, a couple of offensive linemen last year, all this good stuff, and they were still number five in success rate in the country last year. Uh, that's pretty, pretty consistent. He's been consistent yeah. for a while. Oh, and Troy Calhoun's fantastic. I'm amazed that he is still there. Try. Um, I'm going to go over the six and a half. Uh, minus 125 is the juice. I don't think it's that much. I, I'm rolling with it. Yeah, I am too. Um, I, I think maybe they split the uh, the military academy games. And um, you know, if they find a way to win both of those, then 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 I think they'll cover it easy. If they find a way to lose both of those, I, th- I think that's the Could difference be in not covering it. Yes, I, I tend to agree. Uh, they've got at Boise State uh, against Army and at Nevada are the three uh, projected losses, and I still think they could win any one of those. I mean, that's yeah. that's how crazy this is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.